Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to episode two of Business Talk with Hansen. And today we're joined with the one and only Kevin. And we're going to be speaking about a topic that's going to be very interesting. Kevin, welcome to the show. What? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a network problem and stuff. So thank you. I'm delighted to join you in your show. Yeah. How are you doing, bro? I'm doing great. No complaints. We move, you know, one step at a time. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, don't, I don't know about that side. Yeah, I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. I can't really complain myself. Mm. So, bro, people watching yep. this video right now could be wondering, sure. could be wondering who is, who is Kevin? Can you just give sure. us a little brief introduction of who you are, what you do, and uh, where you're from, and things like this. Oh, okay. By the names, I'm um, Kevin Edward Ongara. Okay. But mostly known as Dollar JR. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a student in China, Leoning University, but also um, I'm a soccer player. Yeah, sure. I, I've majored in uh, business communication, I mean, Bachelor in International Trade and Commerce. Okay. Yeah. And also I own Ground Zero. It's a match company. Yeah, I dealt with inspiring players, soccer players, different athletes. So yeah, that's what I do for a living. All right. So, um, mm. can you just get more into what you just spoke about? Can you just get a little bit into Ground Zero? Can you just tell okay, us what Ground Zero. Ground Zero is about? What, um, what inspired Ground Zero? What made you think of, okay, let me create Ground Zero? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, Ground Zero, it's more than a match company because we are here to guide different athletes to reach their dreams yeah yeah we are here to give to guide different uh, i mean athletes to reach their dreams this idea came after first of all i saw like a lot of african athletes in different parts yeah. of the world okay they can't be sponsored by it's difficult for them to be sponsored by nike sponsored by adidas and stuff so something came to my mind like uh why can't we have our own brand okay yeah. so that we can own some african athletes not some all or african athletes okay who represents yeah. us in different part of this world yeah because we see a lot of players footballers and basketballers they're wearing up Nike, down Adidas, they don't have sponsor, official sponsor, any official sponsor. But it yeah. can be Hansen in Thailand, ground zero training kit, ground zero shoes, ground zero sportswear and stuff. So you'll be under ground zero. So that was the aim of this company as we move slowly. Yeah. yeah. Sure. All so right. that's what we do. Yeah. That's 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 actually a really, really good vision. So at what point did you actually realize that this is what I'm going to try and do? This is what I'm going to try and pursue. What point did you realize this? Oh, actually, this came a long time ago. I think like three years back, since three years back, 2018. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like I had these thoughts after finishing my advanced level. So I was thinking like, when will I start? Like I had this idea, but when will I start? But you know, yeah. I was young back then. You hear a lot of noises in your head. Like you're yeah. not ready yet. Yeah, you're not ready yet. You can't do this. How it's How is it going to turn out, you know? Yeah. I was very, very afraid, yeah. Like, if it's going to fail, 
it's tough it's tough so at that point i had an idea i created this instagram account and it was private no one following it it was only me like every yeah. day i wake up early in the morning i go through it i post something i try something and stuff but i couldn't make it make it public i couldn't because of the fear yeah. i had yeah yeah so i it stayed like 3 years i had the vision 3 years after yeah so 2020 going 2021 it was november during my birthday so i i was like asking myself at this point of life okay i have a dream i haven't ex- executed it so i was like okay f- whatever it's going to be whatever it's going to turn out it's okay i'm doing yeah. this so i made that instagram account public and i started pursuing the dream yeah i remember talking to my adults and they were like oh that's a nice idea and considering your dream yourself you want to be a sports agent this is going to yeah. be a big thing for you like all your life it's going to be in this thing so you just do it don't worry so yeah. that's when I, i decided to execute it yeah so i've stayed with the dream for three years two and a half i don't know three yeah all right so bro um like you said there gonna be so many other people out there that have a dream that they're sitting on and you know sure. they're not maybe executing it or they don't know how they're going to execute it could you just sure. explain to us what processes are you taking for you to execute this because they could be someone watching this and maybe they could get a thing or two on and they could apply it to their own dreams that they have and you know execute it for themselves what processes don't focus don't get too attached on a long term goal okay you have a goal for example me let me talk about myself i want to be like nike some days okay nike adidas and even better okay but i don't have such funds for now like sponsoring yeah. big athletes and stuff okay what i started by doing is creating an instagram account like by that time i only had internet no funds and stuff but i had to create an yeah. instagram account and read different books and stuff so that i can increase my knowledge about running that that kind of thing okay so don't get too focused on the long term goal it might hurt your mind what you have to do is consider the small wins like brick by brick even building yeah. a house is not from the foundation okay then yeah. you go slowly okay so don't get too attached to that long term process like okay i want to be like ronaldo maybe someday there are footballers but basketballers i want to be like lebron james and stars but how am i going to reach there okay if yeah. if you think about that for too long man you might end up doing nothing what you have to do is get up go to the gym if you don't have the gym go run if you don't have something go just go do the small things yeah i, I remember there's in washington saying that it's little things that matters okay only the little things like don't pressure yourself like okay how can i be this how can i be this no consider the small wins small wins i mean okay yeah. small wins like do something small start small it one step at a time yeah that's how you're going to get there in the end of the day they will all align together and you'll be this big thing so that's what i do like when i wake up in the morning i mean when i wake up in the morning by yesterday i already made my timetable like today i'm going to do this even the small things okay i'm going to do yeah. 10 pushups okay some people will say that ah how can you write 10 pushups but remember a dream written down is a goal yeah sorry. so by 10 pushups i increase something in my body okay so i write yeah. everything today early in the morning i'll do 10 pushups i wake up i go bath i'll do this i'll do this i'll do this then after that if i have to go somewhere i'll say that okay today i'm going to survey somewhere today i'll go somewhere yeah. and at the end of the day i sit down i take my daily schedule and i put the checks 
in everything I did and everything I didn't do. And why didn't I do it? Is it lack of time? Is it because of my laziness or stuff? So like, yeah. I focus on the small things, only small things. Okay? Like I didn't have the money to buy 100 t-shirts or 200 t-shirts or making 300 t-shirts, no. I only had money to buy a few, and that's what I did. But the few gave birth to the other few, few to another few. So right now I'm somewhere else, and thank God, and we're moving, and everything is going. If you look at my Instagram account, Ground Zero, it only started with one follower. Now we are 245 in a month. So I believe by the end of this year, it's going to be something very, 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 very big. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So that's what I do. So don't get too attached in the small things. I mean, yeah. don't get too attached to a long to a, to a long goals. Okay, just do the small things, and everything will align in the end. Right. I'm actually one person that has very very much faith in in Ground Zero. To be honest, and um, pardon, but then I'm sure that I'm sure that you have experienced several challenges when sure. you are when you have been pursuing uh this dream this goal that you have sure what what challenges are these and how have you managed to overcome them sure okay i can say challenges yes. there are mental challenges there are mental challenges uh, when I say mental challenges, it's not like I mean, I'm depressed or what or stuff, but you know how the brain is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, the brain all the time, it's made to protect you. Yeah. Okay, it was designed to protect you. So when you are about to achieve something big, it will always say, it will always say to you that uh, you're not good enough and stuff, okay? You can't do that, yeah. so just slow down, yeah. So that's what I mean by mental challenges. And oh, some mornings you can wake up and like you're not feeling like doing anything. Okay, it's all because of the brain. But once you get up and you go do that thing, everything turns out normal. Okay, exactly. so yeah. That, yeah, that is the first challenge I face in running my business. And second, it's financial. As I told you when I was starting, like, the i didn't have the funds to fund my business yeah. yeah so what i had to do was like saving and talking to my adults okay can you support this and this and this but suddenly everything aligned so my second challenge is finance finances you know it's tough it's tough you want to do bigger things you want to make shoes and stuff but now I only do t-shirts and uh, some gym wears, okay, because of the right. funds. Yeah, yeah. So I'm struggling to save a lot, a lot, a lot as I can so that I can fund my business. As we know, you might have ideas, but yeah, finances can be challenges. Fine. But yeah, I didn't let that stop me. And also another challenge is, as we know, we human, once they see you doing good, man they will talk yeah they will talk yeah. yeah like who do you think you are man you have this dry you have this dream of being like nike man do you know where nike started so they'll be talking all the time all the time they'll be talking so if you listen to them man you'll never do anything so that sometimes it's a challenge because sometimes it comes from the people i look up to like somebody you really look up to telling you that it can hurt you somehow. Yeah. But I didn't back down. Yeah. So those are the three challenges I can say. Right. Yeah, the big challenges in running this business. So how I get up every morning, face the challenges, yeah. it's all in the Bible, man. I have two lines yeah, that keeps me going. Bible verses. First of all, it's Corinthians. First of Corinthians 10, 13. Okay. Okay, I will read it as it's written. It says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not, com is, is not common to man. 
God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your abilities. Okay? Yeah. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way to, of escape. Okay? Yeah. So if God himself said that, why are you afraid? Why? Because he said that he will not bring the temptation to you that is bigger than your abilities. Exactly. So just remember that no matter how things tough they get, but remember that God promised there's a door somewhere. Yeah. What you have to do is just keep going. So that wakes me up every day in the morning. And, that, and another line, it's Roman 8, 28. It says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Okay? So yeah. remember, if God himself say that if you're pursuing your purpose, bro, he'll never leave you alone. So everything happening to your life, it's not because that you have forsaken him or what. Yeah. Everything will, will align in the end. So that keeps me going. No matter how many people betray me, no matter the financial challenges, the mental challenges and stuff. But when I remember these two verses, man, I get up every day in the morning, I go do something. For I know something. that it's promised. Yeah. Exactly. And I, sure. I'm a person that also believes that there is just so much power in, in reading the Bible and just leaving your dreams to God. You know, sure. on, on our on our Instagram page, Hanson Media, we recently made a post about you know balancing your ambitions with God, and yeah, the sure. things that you're talking about right now, they just mix, they just balance very well with you know our ideology and our idea and with our company. Sure. So th that's that's actually a really good thing. I also really got to like the fact that I picked up as you were speaking, I like the fact that you spoke about reading, reading books, you said that you read books, which is something yeah. that in the generation that we're in today, it's something that is very, very much overlooked. Yeah, you know? sure. It's something that is very, very much overlooked. But then the, there, there is a saying that if you want to hide something from a person, write it in a book. Yeah, right sure. The, and and yeah, there's just so much power and so much knowledge in the book. Of mm. course, today we have audio books, which is what I mainly use. I yeah, sure. I mainly use audio books because most of the times I'm on the go, and I usually like use my headset and whatnot. So instead of listening to music, I'll listen to an audio book. You also yeah, spoke sure. about 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 journaling, writing things down. Yeah. Which is also very, very important. It helps you, it, it helps you be accountable, you know. It keeps you accountable, it keeps you productive and sure. Yeah, I, I just picked up those three things which are I think they're very, very powerful to anyone that is trying to pursue their dream. Sure, so sure. Thank you for sharing with us, bro. Mm. So right now we're we're gonna get into the next section of the interview where it's all about the fun and games where um <laughs> so we're going the games are going to be divided in two you know so we're going to have the first half of the game where i'm going to be asking you questions as many questions as possible within 30 seconds and you have to answer as many questions as possible mm -hmm. the second half of the game i'm going to give you a letter and you're going to have to mention as many things as possible that start with that letter within 30 seconds. Okay, so it's the both of games. Oh, I can choose one. Yeah. No, you do. I can both. choose one. Both. No, you do both bro. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Don't worry, bro. It's going to be easy. <laughs> it's going to be easy. <laughs> Huh? Ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So 30 seconds on the clock. And your time starts now. FIFA or PES? 
FIFA? FIFA or PES? PES. FIFA, FIFA. Nike, uh, Nike or Adidas? Nike. Android or iPhone? Android. Marathon or sprints? Marathon. Score or assist? Man, go. <laughs> Barca, in that time. <laughs> I'm going to answer five questions. Huh? You answer five questions. You answer five, five questions. questions and take five. <laughs> huh? Okay, okay. So, in, in the Hansen Media uh, record so far, we've had four guests, and you rank second. Because the highest person answered seven questions in 30 seconds. Wow. You managed to answer five. So you are right up there. So we're going to get into the second section of the game where I'm going to give you a letter. And from that letter, you're going to have to mention as many things as possible that start with that letter. Ready to go? Let's go. It's better should not right, be so X. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see, bro. Don't see. Okay, so your letter, your letter is J. And J. Your time start. Your time starts now. Jail, jam, jar, uh, jelly, uh, Joe, uh, juice, um. Jacket, um, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> One more question. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One more to break the record. Joint. And, <laughs> ah, you mentioned how many did you did you mention another another word? I didn't get to hear it actually. <laughs> I mean, joint. Oh, so you mentioned joint, nine. Yeah. You mentioned nine in 30 seconds, which means that you've broken the record. The highest was eight. The it was eight, was eight, okay. It was eight, so you just broke it by one. So this just shows the power in ground zero. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Right, so we've basically come to the end of um of this mm. interview and, and mm. for the person watching this right now if you could advise them one thing or another what is it that you would advise them what would you tell them what i could tell them is i was about to say life is too short but that's a lie so what I'm going to tell them is fear is the lie. Like fear is the lie. Don't let fear stop you from pursuing your dreams. Fear is an illusion. Like you might, th you might see things happening, but they are not happening. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So what you have to do is like pursue that dream, the dream you have. Pursue it. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't let fear stop you. I've been there, and I know what fear can do to you. Yeah. Like, you can die with those dreams. Fear of what the society will say. Fear of what your parents might think of you. Fear of being left behind by your friends. Fear of anything. Don't let it stop you. Like, just go for it. Because yeah. even God himself said, once you're here on, once you're here on earth, it's you and him alone yeah okay yeah so every man for himself you should never let fear stop you yeah exactly. do what you have to do pursue that dream and okay to everyone who is looking at this yeah. you have to support this dream yeah ground zero it's really a big thing start by going to follow the page it's ground zero to Z. I guess Hansen will tag it. So yeah, I'll leave it in do, the do the support. The yeah, do the support. Do the support, guys. We really need you. It's an African dream. 
So let's do it. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. All right, sure. Bro, so that's thank all you. I can say. Thank you so much for 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 being here with us, bro. Thank you so much for this interview. This this was uh, very powerful information, very powerful knowledge. You know, because when you. we started our first when we started our first uh, episode, we had a very good uh, speaker in Anesu, and he was very powerful. And I was personally worried. Would the second person be able to, you know, reach that level? Would the second person be able to hit those heights? And I can I can honestly say that I'm not disappointed. You honestly came and you spoke something that was very powerful, you know. Be and I'm sure that people that have this dream that they have, they will definitely get up and you know, get to work on it right now. Sure. So thank you again for for being with us, bro. Once again, okay. browser link will be in the description. Thank you for Make having sure me. Follow. Big support. Support my boy, Hansen Media. Right. Do that. All right, man. All right, man. All right, man. All right.